Good morning. Today's clip is entitled Retaliation. Bullying. Something a lot of special education parents might face as they navigate through the special education system and advocate for their children. I'm personally experiencing this right now with my child's school. It's a real thing, folks. Google it. Parents are getting Child Protective Services called on them. They're getting trespassing, protective orders filed against them on the school simply because they advocate for their child. Bullying and retaliation is real and it's wrong. And I encourage all parents to fight. Stand up. You know it's wrong. Report it and keep reporting it. Call the newspapers. Call the TV stations. Call whoever you need to call. Call an attorney if it gets bad enough. It's wrong. It's our job as a parent to protect our children. It is our job as a parent to make sure that our children get the best education possible. We shouldn't have to move and change schools just because the school wants to work against you. It's as simple as that. I question grades. I question teaching methods. And now I'm being retaliated against. The teacher no longer wants to have direct contact with me. My son's case manager, who oversees his IEP, does not want to have direct contact with me. I'm dealing with the vice principal, who, of course, backs up her teachers in the school, as most administrative will do. In the meantime, my son got intimidated once the teacher got in his face. She's given him failing grades on assignments that did not deserve to have a failing grade. She blames me to my child, to his face, for the reason that he's getting a failing grade. This is your mommy's fault, she'll tell him. I'm being denied seeing why he got the grades he got. She's not willing to back it up. She's not willing to prove it. It's wrong. You give them the grade, you back it up. I'm trying to be patient and careful so they so they don't take a drastic more step on the on their end towards me. So I'm trying to handle it in the most civil PC manner I can. It's causing me stress. It's causing my child stress. But I will not stop fighting. It's wrong, and I know it's right. I did not fight for so long to put certain things in place so my child could be academically successful for the school to unravel it by one teacher. It's not going to happen, and it won't be tolerated. It's my job as his mother to make sure that he has a sound education so he can grow up and achieve what he wants to achieve as an adult. And I'm teaching him along the way by me doing this to fight for what's right. To fight, to stand up for the underdog and fight. If we can get enough parents to rally together and put an end to this injustice, then maybe, just maybe, it will stop. The school thinks they have some sort of power over the parents. They're wrong. You can decide what school your child goes to. You ultimately have the control. You didn't stop being your child's parent just because they walk into a school building every day. That didn't end your parental role. The school seems to think that it did. Wrong. 
This is serious, folks. Go online and Google it. Bullying amongst children, I'm sure it's a real thing. I'm sure it goes on. You see it all the time. You hear about it all the time. Bullying with students against teachers, that's going on too. But maybe, just maybe, the reason it's happening is because the teacher is doing the bullying back. And the kid has had enough. But when it turns around and it's an adult on adult bullying, a teacher bullying a parent, an administrator bullying a parent, that is wrong. We're adults. Thank you.